for. Earlier today, we, he vetted that video you just saw for us and confirmed it was real. We're happy about that. Gordon Chang joins us tonight. Gordon, thanks so much for coming on. To those of us who Thank don't follow her. this full time as you do and who don't speak Mandarin, this is a shocking admission of what's happening here. Tell us what you make of it. There is incredible arrogance among the Chinese elites, and that's what I take away from this video. You know, there are a number of instances that D talks about, and I don't know if they're actually true or not, but the point is that this is what Chinese leaders think. And because they think that way, they're going to push a President Biden around. They're going to do things which are dangerous because we're going to have to push back. Under President Trump, the Chinese didn't try this because they were afraid of him. So what I'm concerned about is the state of mind of China. And we see this from Xi Jinping, the Chinese ruler, all the way da down to this guy, Di Dongsheng. This is dangerous. So he's out there less than a month after our presidential election saying, essentially, we admit it. We are in control. Our friends in the business community in the United States, Wall Street specifically, are on our side up uh, over and against the U.S. government itself, the, the, the current presidential administration, and we pull the strings. Do you think that's bragging? To what extent is that true? Well, that part of the video is true. Um, what I was referring to was the politics and prose incident, um, which is very interesting. But in terms of the most important points that Dee makes, that's absolutely true, that China does have that relationship into what he calls the core circle of America's real power. And they used that during the Obama administration and prior administrations, and they couldn't do it during the Trump administration. That much we know. And I know that they are in anticipation licking their chops about what's going to happen from J January 20 on. It's just, a, it's an amazing, amazing story. Were you surprised that he said this on camera in front of a live audience? That actually took me by surprise because um, what he was making were those admissions, which really go to the core of the China-U.S. relationship. And I think that what President Trump can do, whether he has 40 days or four years, is to break some of those connections. He can do it with the International Emergency Economic Powers Act of 1977. He can even maybe use the Trading with the Enemy Act of 1917. But we've got to break those connections because if we don't do that, we are going into a point where we may not be able to deter China because they are so arrogant, so belligerent that they think that they can buy any American politician, including the president of the United States. And therefore, as I mentioned, um, they are going to be tempted to do something that cannot be unwound. It cannot be unwound. Nicely put. Gordon Chang, I appreciate your coming.